Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about using layouts with the S3 control surface. First of all, what are layouts and why should I use them? Layouts are independent arrangements of DAW tracks on the surface in the order you choose of any faders, blank spaces, and even multiples of the same fader on the surface at the same time. With S3, you can store up to 48 discrete layouts in U-Control and recall layouts 1 through 12 directly from the S3 surface. Layouts 13 through 48 may be recalled from within the U-Control application or from assignable soft keys, say on the artist transport. Let's set up a layout. Go to the Layouts tab on U-Control. This is where you store and recall all the layouts. All empty or unassigned layouts are your normal session layout, all tracks in their original DAW order. Now go to the Assign tab. This is where you assign tracks to faders. Auto assigned means exactly that, automatic assignment of the tracks by the DAW. You can choose auto or attention track, which is the selected track in the DAW, blank, which means no track, or hard assign any track via the name and number. Layouts are track limited to the number of channels on your Yukon enabled control surface. With S3, that's obviously 16. I'm going to quickly assign the drums VCA, the kick tracks, a blank as a spacer, and add a few snare tracks to the faders. Then I'll flip to the Layouts tab to name and save it. Notice I left the remaining tracks on the surface auto-assigned so my session can still be accessed in this layout. I could assign blanks to those non-kick and snare faders, but this way I can have my layout and my session on the console all at the same time. Since I saved this in slot 8, I can recall it by hitting the Recall button in U-Control on the Layouts page, or I can use the Surface keys to recall layouts 1 through 12. 1 through 6 are labeled A through F, and I can access layout 7 through 12 by holding the surface shift key and using A through F. Number 8 would be shift plus B. I normally reserve layout number 1 as my all so I can easily return to my complete session. In this session, I have layouts set up for my VCAs, my vocals, my piano and percussion tracks, and now kick and snares. When I save my session, these layouts will be saved and will be accessible whenever I load this session and U Control is active. Layouts are an extremely efficient way to navigate your sessions with repeatable access to any tracks you need to get your work done quickly and creatively. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 User's Guide.